Welcome to the video guys. You might remember the other day I made this video about the Derbyshire Mayor who said the Prime Minister deserves what's happening to him now in relation to the coronavirus and his hospitalisation. Which, thankfully, if reports are to be believed, he is showing signs of improvement. But for this Labour Mayor, it didn't end there with her being called out by myself and a few media outlets. Now, she did try to apologise for this, as I pointed out, and you can see on the screen there by the BBC article, but it was a pretty weak one, where she essentially blamed PPE in hospitals for her being an abhorrent waste of space. But it seems that apology wasn't enough, because later that same day, we had this article from ITV, which says Labour councillor expelled, from the party for Boris Johnson coronavirus comments. Because slowly, perhaps, the Labour Party is realising that Corbyn's kind of gentle of politics are not supported by the majority of the country, with most people thinking those who act like it are actually the scum of the earth. A Derbyshire mayor has been expelled from the Labour Party after she suggested that Boris Johnson deserves to have coronavirus. Haynor Mayor Sheila Oakes' comments sparked controversy online. Miss Oakes apologised unreservedly, but the Labour Party has now withdrawn the whip from her, effectively expelling her. She will keep her seat until the next election, but she is now an independent politician. So at least Sir Keir Starmer's Labour Party is acting rather swiftly in kicking these sorts of people out. Not that it's going to help their situation in the slightest, but I suppose it looks good on the face of it. The Prime Minister is currently in intensive care at St Thomas's Hospital in London after his coronavirus symptoms worsened yesterday, which was the other day now, and like I said, they're actually supposed to be getting better. Miss Oakes' comment was written under a post which showed a message of support for medical workers, and it is understood it also may have made reference to Boris Johnson. Mayor Oakes wrote, as we know and I read out at the time, sorry, he completely deserved this, he is one of the worst PMs we've ever had. When her comment was described as a cruel thing to say by another Facebook user, Miss Oakes replied, Johnson has done absolutely nothing for the UK. Have you heard how the nurses and doctors have no PPE? that there were not enough ventilators, that the NHS is massively underfunded and yet is having to deal with the virus. Which I'm sure you will all agree are literally the Corbinated Chicken's main talking points over the last month or so when he tried to political point score on the back of the coronavirus situation like the snivelling shit weasel that he is. Miss Oakes here is clearly showing herself to be of a similar ilk. A number of the responses from other Facebook users called for her resignation. A spokesman for the Amber Valley Labour Group said, Following comments from Councillor Oakes on social media, which we utterly condemn, the Amber Valley Labour Group withdrew the whip this morning and can now announce this now the whip has spoken to Councillor Oakes. This means that Oakes does not currently sit as a Labour councillor and further due process will follow. We wish the Prime Minister and all who are suffering with this awful disease a speedy recovery and send love and solidarity to them and their families. And of course, it wouldn't be right in reading out that without reading out Miss Oakes' piss-poor apology herself. I would like to apologise if I upset anyone. It was not my intention. I didn't mean that there should be serious consequences from the virus. I am concerned about the doctors and nurses who have not got protection equipment, who are getting sick and dying themselves. So why would you sit there saying that someone deserves something and deserves to be in ICU, possibly putting those doctors in harm's way, you complete idiots? Your own apology is using an excuse that just doesn't make any sense. This makes me angry about the lack of help for them. It was something said in anger. No, it was something said in stupidity, because obviously you saying you think he deserves this means you want him in the hospital, putting those doctors and nurses at risk, which you were so dead against. I have every sympathy for the Prime Minister's family who are suffering considerably at this time. It must be very difficult for them, and I hope his partner and the baby are well. I hope that he makes a recovery and does not suffer any long-term ill effects. I do regret it, and I should not have said it. Well, that should have been kind of obvious at the time. I apologise unreservedly for it. We all make mistakes, including Boris Johnson, and it will not happen again. 
So, even at the end there, while she was saying sorry, she had to try and include Boris Johnson in making mistakes. Because she couldn't just own up to it herself. In true Labour fashion, she has to pass it off like a snivelling shit weasel. Now, obviously, a councillor for the Conservative Party calls it distasteful and abhorrent as an understatement, and I'd have to agree with him. But it's not surprising to anyone. But yesterday we had reported from ITV News, Labour Mayor kicked out of the party after saying Boris Johnson deserves coronavirus, loses paralegal job. So not only was she unceremoniously dumped out of the Labour Party, but the law firm that she was working for has also kicked her to the curb. Which I think you will agree is rather funny considering it's usually these left wing nutters who are trying to cancel everyone else. When in fact she just essentially cancelled herself with her complete stupidity. A Labour mayor who publicly said Boris Johnson deserved to have coronavirus has lost her job over her offensive Facebook comments. Sheila Oakes, who was the mayor of Haynor in Derbyshire, she still is the mayor as far as I'm aware, wrote on Facebook that the Prime Minister completely deserves this and he is one of the worst PMs we've ever had. The Prime Minister is currently in intensive care at St Thomas's Hospital in London, we know this already. Miss Oakes has been kicked out of the Labour Party as we just see and has now lost her job as a paralegal. VHS Fletcher's solicitors said in a statement, these posts were made in a personal capacity but it was clear from her Facebook blog that she was an employee of this firm. And as a result, we became embroiled in understandable and legitimate criticism of what she had said. No, people shouldn't be criticising your business for the actions of an employee. That is a leftist way of thinking at the end of the day. The actions of an employee does not mean that the business condones it or, in this case, even knew about it. So I will never agree with people criticising a company because of the actions of someone who works for them. We can confirm that as of now, Miss Oakes is no longer employed by this firm in any capacity. We have no knowledge of what her intentions are in relation to her political career. We had previously stressed that her views are not shared by the partners or any other staff members. To wish illness upon anyone must be abhorrent to all right-thinking members of the public, which obviously it is. We are acutely aware of the distress that such posts can cause, both to the family and friends of the Prime Minister, but also to all of those affected by this terrible virus. Miss Oakes' comments was written under a post which showed a message of support for medical workers and it is understood it also may have made reference to Boris Johnson. She has since apologised unreservedly, but the Labour Party has withdrawn the whip, as we already know. Now, like I said, at the moment she is still the mayor. The last article from ITV was actually wrong on that. With her saying here, Councillor Oakes, 56, a councillor for more than 10 years, added she did not know if she would resign. She said, we will see how things play out. I am not going to make a sudden decision. It may be for my colleagues in the Labour Party to decide. As a lawyer, I should have known better. It was never my intention to upset anyone. I'm really sorry for what I said. It was a really stupid thing to do. A petition has also been launched to remove Councillor Rokes from her role as Mayor of Hainer. So, while she might not resign, she might actually be booted out. Who knows what will happen yet. But I think you will all agree, it is rather ironic that this hardcore leftist has got herself cancelled for being such an abhorrent waste of space. So, I am rather surprised how quick Labour acted at booting her out of the party. I guess they are really desperate to try and clean up their image. Because not only has she been cancelled from the Labour Party itself, but she's also been cancelled from her job, and if this petition is successful, she might even lose the title of Mayor of Hainer. Which, I'm sure you will agree, would be an epic downfall. And, to be honest, not something I wish on the woman, but she has literally brought this on herself, and the outcome of this situation will be thanks to her leftist friends who demand people get sacked from their jobs, removed from positions of power, and who knows what else. Now before I go, I've started doing live streams and uploading gaming content on my second channel. If you would like to come and join me for a live stream to chat in real time, have an interest in gaming related content on YouTube, or just want to follow me over there because you are a legend, the link will be down in the video description below and as a pinned comment. I hope to see you all there. Now as always, before I go, I want to thank our PayPal, Patreon, Subscribestar and YouTube members for supporting the channel along with everyone who watches my videos. 
Remember to let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Leave a like, subscribe with the notification bell and share this video as it helps the channel a lot. And I will see you all in the next one. There is a pattern consistent throughout history of oppressed people turning on the oppressors. Slaves against their owners, the peasantry against the feudal barons, colonies, Mr. Verhofstadt, against their empires. <laughs> and that is why Britain is leaving. And it doesn't matter which language you use, we are going and we are glad to be going. We're off. <laughs>